Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to an animated story time about somebody who got abducted by billionaires. Why can't I get abducted by somebody who's really rich? Hi there, my name is Sheila, and today, for my story animated, I'm going to tell you the confusing story of how I got abducted by a billionaire. I'm not gonna lie, this is literally everyone's dream growing up. Like, imagine being in a family of, like, a billionaire. There's probably a high possibility they're corrupt and that's how they've made their money. But I mean, you're still in a rich family. It all started one day when I was coming out of school. As usual, I saw all my classmates classmates with their expensive backpacks getting inside their fancy cars. I went to an old boys school so like we didn't have like the American school system where you bring in like your handbags. I do know a female schools like down the road from my school that done that. Do girls carry their school stuff in a handbag or do they have like a normal backpack? Many of them even had a chauffeur. As I walked past them on my way to the bus stop I could always hear their laughs as they gossiped behind my back. I'm 13 years old and never had any family other than my mom and she passed away three years ago. We never had money but my mom taught me that the only thing no one would ever take away from me was knowledge. Wait, so how old is she? 13 or something like that? Where is she living? Like a 13 year old can't just be living on their own. Whenever I was younger, I used to always imagine what it would be like if my like, parents died and I like lived on my own. And then I realized I'd probably just be put into care. So I studied hard all my life and that's how I got a scholarship to this fancy school. I was walking to the bus stop. There was a restaurant on that street and I always smelled the coffee and the cookies. The best thing about like going into like a bakery is like the smells. I remember in school there used to be like an RE teacher who would have like this vanilla thing. What was it? It was like a scent thing where like it had like little sticks pointing out but like the room would smell of vanilla and every single time you walk into his room like it would just smell so strongly of it and it would literally make you so hungry. It made me so hungry but I didn't have money to buy any of that. As I continued walking I saw a little kitten crossing the street. Cars passed just inches away from it. The kitten crossed to the other side and I decided to follow it to make sure it was safe. I mean you're literally gonna get hit by a car if it's running across the road. This girl needs to be careful but is this how she gets abducted? Imagine like the little kitten takes her to a billionaire's house. I followed it for a couple of blocks until it turned into an alley and hid inside a trash bin. Well, I thought at least it would be safe there, so I turned around to leave and that's when I saw a black car parked at the end of the alley. And that is where you think you're gonna get abducted, yet it's happened to me many times. There's been quite a few times whenever I've been walking somewhere and I swear to seeing cars pass me like four times. Obviously, like, it's just like a coincidence, but like, it really does like start to mess up with your head, doesn't it? Like, if you see loads of coincidences, you start to freak out and get like really paranoid. But I mean, if I ever see a car like that or a white van at the end of an alleyway, I just know that I'm gonna get abducted. There was a man outside leaning against the car, dressed as a chauffeur, and inside on the back seat, I saw a man and a woman kissing. I learned to mind my own business a long time ago, so I kept on walking. Okay, never mind. She maybe didn't get abducted. Oh my god, that's weird. Like, get a room. I arrived at the bus stop and, after a moment, the car appeared at full speed and stopped abruptly inches away from me. I realized it was the same car as before, just seconds before I heard a door opening and someone pushing me inside onto the back seat. Why didn't you run? I'm sorry, but if a car stops right beside you, run. Like, literally run. I mean, to be fair, she was kind of, like, pushed inside the car before she could do anything. So it's not like she had much of a choice. As the car sped up again, I looked at the man sitting next to me. It was actually a handsome older man. Around 40, I guess. Okay, looks like she's got herself a sugar daddy. I mean, it's kind of sketchy. You're literally in a car with them and you're being driven somewhere. I don't really know if it's just me, but I probably would try to smash the window. I feel like everyone's always thought about what they would do if they got abducted. I mean, I think I'd just freak out. He looked at me seriously, but his gaze looked tired and lost. It didn't make me scared. He was somewhat mysterious. And then he asked sharply, what do you want? And that brought me back to reality. Exactly. Like, why are you literally in the car? Like, remember, they abducted you. So why is he asking you, what do you want? You should be asking him, why did you literally abduct me? Like, hello, who are you? I don't understand. I said, it was true. What do you want in exchange for keeping the secret? What secret? Excuse me, what? Wait, is she like a spy? What's going on in these videos? Like, I'm telling you, every single time we go into these videos, it's like a Netflix documentary. There's a plot twist every second. What secret? He got closer to me and scanned me from head to toes. I see. I know this little game, he added. And then he looked at the driver and shouted, Perkins, to the mall. Um, no, don't go to the mall. Tell us what the secret is. You've literally just abducted a child. I don't think this girl is like at the age of 18. So she's literally been abducted. This man's going to jail. I didn't want to ask any more questions, but that didn't mean I didn't have them. Who was this man? Who did he think I was? What secret was he talking about? Exactly. Like, you're literally asking the questions that I want the answer to. Who is this man? What is he asking you about? And why did he literally abduct you? Suddenly, the car stopped and the chauffeur opened the door and pulled me out. The hand of the handsome man appeared from inside the car with a credit card in it. Get her whatever she wants, he said. This literally sounds like she's being trafficked. And like, I knew she is and she gets like abducted. Wait. 
wait, technically that is getting trafficked. Why are they glamorizing human trafficking? The chauffeur grabbed the card and took me inside the mall by the arm. And as I stepped in, my mind went blank. I had never been inside a place this big. Lights, shops, people coming and going, way rooms. This had to be heaven and I had to be dead. But the chauffeur was still pushing me. So I pulled my arm away and told him to stop. Yeah, exactly. Say stop. Who are you? Oh my God, this literally seems like a dream. Should I like do this? Should I like sign up to college and like go to a really rich place and hope that like a billionaire will abduct me? He looked at me and said, well, well, what? What do you want? I don't understand, I said. And he said, it's not the first time we do this. The boss knows what you all girls want for the silence. Um, the boss knows. I'm sorry, what? Who is the boss? What is literally going on here? This is like human trafficking. Like there's literally a company, like a boss that human traffics a little girls. The boss? The silence? Who were these people? I had no idea and things were happening really fast, but I wasn't stupid and I wasn't going to let my only chance get away. Okay, so you literally just got abducted and you're not gonna like run away. You're literally asking for them to like abduct you and chop you up into pieces and eat you. I didn't want to spend a second, so I went directly to the bookstore. I always had to borrow the books from school from the public library, so this was my chance to get my own. The man paid and we went back outside. That is literally so boring. So she went to a big shopping center, she could have got anything. Balenciaga, Gucci, Chanel, Cartier, and she decided to get a book. Do I know something? She might as well just get abducted because she is crazy. The handsome man from the car rolled down the window and said, are we good? I nodded. Even though I had no idea what just happened as I embraced the bag with my new books and he left. Okay, so he's literally just like put her back so she isn't abducted anymore. You're telling me they literally followed her to the back of an alleyway, grabbed her, took her to a shop and then just like ran away. What is the secret? I want to hear what the secret is. As I was walking back to the bus stop, I didn't think about the bizarre situation I just lived but the fact that for the first time in my life, I had new books and then I heard it again. Oh my God, the car is back. They're literally trying to abduct her. I'm telling you, this genuinely seems like something that would happen in Roblox. Sometimes I'll play like weird Roblox games and I just end up getting like kidnapped. The car was coming back towards me. You have got to be kidding me. The chauffeur pulled me back inside the car and the boss asked, annoyed, is this a joke? You spent $200 on books? $200? I asked. I didn't know they were so expensive. I'm sorry. I mean, I agree with that man. If you're literally giving money, don't spend it on books. Spend it on like clothes or like, I don't know, a new iPhone. Maybe you can use that phone to call the police whenever you're getting chopped off. But he just stayed there and looked at me. Then he looked at the driver and back at me. Take us back to the mall, Perkins. Then he got really close to me and said, okay, this is how it's going to be. We're going to go inside the mall again and you're going to spend real money on real things. You hear me? What type of abductor does this? This girl's literally got abducted and apparently they're treating her like a sugar baby. This is literal like human trafficking, but like on a grander scheme. If I'm ever going to get abducted by people, I'm going to get abducted by these people. I couldn't understand why he meant it as a threat, but I nodded in silence. At least I got to keep my new books. As we arrived back at the mall, we got out of the car. He took the books away from me, threw them inside the car and said, leave them. You'll get them later. Exactly. Get rid of them awful books. Like, I don't know why you'd spend that much money in books. What books even cost that much? Like, how many books does she get? Like, six? To be fair, I haven't read books in years. And that's probably what my, like, vocabulary and reading age is so bad. Whenever I was in school, I used to take reading tests and it literally said I had the reading age of a 13-year-old when I was, like, 17. I said, that's a lie. It said apparently I had the reading age of, like, an 8-year-old. We went back inside the mall and again, I was amazed by the amount of information and different noises. He took me directly to the jewelry store and said, pick. He sounded like he was in a hurry, but I was definitely not going to choose anything from that store. I looked at those expensive things as they were glowing, but did not dare to touch any. Why not? You've literally been taken there like spend money. Girl, you better run in there and get all that designer stuff and Cartier stuff because it might be the last thing you ever see. What is it? The man said impatiently. I sighed and answered. I live in a foster home and share my room with seven other orphans. There's no chance any of this will survive there. The man took a step back and scanned me again. I don't understand. I assumed he was referring to the school uniform. How could an orphan pay for that fancy school? My mom said that knowledge was something no one would ever take away from me. So she told me to study as hard as I could. I have a scholarship. I mean, he probably just doesn't care about that. He just wants to know why you're telling him that. Does she not realize she's literally been abducted by a billionaire? Girlie, you don't need to worry about that foster home anymore. You've got billionaire parents. Wise woman. And then added, still, there must be something you want. Well, honestly, I'm a bit hungry and I've never seen this many options before. What do you want to eat? I didn't have any idea what to choose. I knew nothing about this food. So I just said, I will eat whatever you choose. A tiny smile appeared on his face. Okay, so apparently he's now falling in love with her. Brilliant. I just want to know what's going on. Like this video is 14 minutes long that we're reacting to. So the video, the, like this video is quite long. I don't know if I can be asked waiting this long to get to the plot. I smiled as I saw him eating that strange food. He didn't look at all like that angry man from before. Okay, so she's literally got like, what's that thing called? What's that thing where like you get abducted by somebody or trapped in a relationship and 
and like you fall in love with them. What is it called? Cause like Stockholm Syndrome is that it? I think that's what it is. Apparently now she's got that. After we finished, we continued to walk through the mall. We passed in front of a place that had neon lights everywhere and the music sounded loud. There were mostly kids inside. They all looked like they were having fun. Do you wanna know something babe? You better just go in there and waste his money in the arcade machines. We also talk about arcade machines and things are money magnets. It used to be a place in Northern Ireland called Barry's that eventually got shut down. But then 2p coin machine thingies were like, I don't know, you get the coin. They're addicted. Like, I was addicted to them. When we left the mall, it was already dark. Well, I said, thank you for this day. I have to go. But he got instantly serious. Wait. He said, I'll take you home. Okay, so this is the part she actually gets abducted. I wish all abductors were like that. Like, people get abducted all the time. Wouldn't it be just, like, amazing if they took them in, like, a wee girl's trip to the mall and bought them, like, books and clothes and jewelry? However, in their case, they probably, like, get abducted and they're never seen again. I got in the car and hugged my books again. He looked at me and said, your mother really was a wise woman. When I got out of the car and he left, I thought I had dreamt it all. What a strange day. No one would believe me if I told them. I mean, yeah, don't tell people that because he probably will get arrested. So basically they like just made her sugar baby for a day. They didn't actually abduct her. I was thinking that like she's gonna get dragged into a helicopter and like taken off to some like creepy island. I couldn't sleep much that night so I used the time to study for the upcoming test the next day with my new books. As we were doing the exam I saw that my classmate Tanya was having problems with it. She was writing things and erasing them many times. We were close to the end of the period so I got closer to her and let her copy from my exam. When we got out she came to me and thanked me. We walked together to the cafeteria talking. Yet again, what is the point of this? Like, this hasn't got anything to do with the story. I hate it whenever YouTube videos do that. Like, I hate it whenever they drag out a story to, like, the longest possible time. The video we're reacting to is, like, 15 minutes long. I'm gonna have to cut it up a load. But when we arrived, Andrea, the popular girl in my class, stood in front of us and looked at Tanya with disapproving eyes. I looked to the floor, ashamed and somehow scared of Andrea. Are you coming to the party tonight? I don't know, she replied. Are you coming, Sheila? I looked up puzzled. No one ever invited me to those fancy parties. Girl, Girls, same. Like, I've never been to a party and I don't think I ever will be. I don't know why, I just, like, can't be bothered with it. Can we also talk about birthday parties? Like, whenever people have birthday parties, they literally invite, like, 200 people. I don't even know 10 people. I can't be bothered with it. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of time. And you're just around a load of fake people. Sorry, I have to study. And Andrea said, see, she's not interested in hanging with us. She's a smart girl. But Tanya said, she is smart and she saved my life today. I think I'll study tonight, too. Exactly. Stand up for your friends. Stand up for the power Gay. I'm telling you, these rich girls think they like run the world. They think they're Cleopatra, Queen Elizabeth. They're nothing but a spoiled little brat. Okay, everyone. So, um, I'm gonna butt in here just let you guys know that I'm basically winding the video forward a wee bit. For like the next 10 minutes, they're basically just going back and forth. So, I'm gonna skip the video ahead. Basically, they got into a fight, blah, 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 blah. You know, cat fight in school. If you get into a fight, you have to be taken to the principal's like office. So, now they're in the principal's office. And let's see who comes in. As I got to the principal's office, Andrea was already there, waiting too, drenched in orange juice. The principal called us both inside his office and demanded an explanation. Have you ever got called in like a teacher's office? It actually is kind of scary. It's happened to me quite a few times whenever I'd be in school. I wouldn't actually like do the thing that would like cause the situation, but like I would be like the tag along. I just always get dragged into the most random things ever and it actually like sucked. But before any of us could speak, I heard noises outside the office. It's gonna be the man. door opened, I saw the last person I could have imagined there. It was the handsome rich man. Andrea looked up too and sighed as she saw him. They exchanged glances for a moment and I realized at that precise moment, he was Andrea's father. I literally told you that earlier in the video. Like, I told you that. I literally told you that that's gonna be Angela's dad or whatever her name is. I'm telling you, I'm actually like a psychic. Like, I can see these things. Oh my god, her dad's literally set her up to get, like, beaten up. I mean, if my child was a bully, I'd probably, like, do the same thing. I was so angry at him. He was a hypocrite. He was Andrea's father. I looked at the principal and said, I'm sorry for what I did. I take full responsibility Honestly, like whenever it comes to people like that, you just need to get rid of them. Like, oh my god, there's so many people like that in my school. Yet again, I don't actually know the whole point of this story time. Like, I feel like I've just wasted like 22 minutes of my life. I went to my locker and grabbed my new books. If I was going to be kicked out of school, at least I would take them with me. I walked to the bus stop crying. I didn't want to see the man, but I kind of hoped he would appear, but he didn't. Oh my god, wait, the man's literally like got rid of her. Oh my god, wait, what? I want him to come back and like save her. I didn't want to go back to school ever again. The director of the 
foster home called the school and told them I was sick. I stayed home for the next three days, wondering if I had dreamt everything after all. Andrea's father seemed like two completely different men. He was so kind with me and so mean to his own daughter. I couldn't understand. I mean, yeah, like what has literally happened? Like, I don't actually know what's going on in these videos. On the third day, they told me I had a visitor. When I got up to see who it was, I found Mr. Anderson at the door. I was still mad at him, but I was relieved to see him, I have to admit. We went to the garden and sat on a bench. He told me he was sorry for not coming to see me sooner. He wanted to make some arrangements first. And he said, adoption arrangements. I had a feeling that was going to come. Like, I literally had a feeling he was going to adopt her. I had a feeling in the back of my head that he was her biological father or he was going to go and abduct her. Oh my god, not abduct, adopt. I can't even speak. How many girls has he, like, adopted? Like, he said he's done this many times before. I looked at him in silence. I was stunned. He said, you don't need the scholarship anymore. If you agree, of course. I thought for a moment. I don't want to be Andrea's sister, I said. Well, perhaps I was being overdramatic. I know. But he laughed. I said, don't laugh. I'm still mad at you. You can't solve everything with money. He got instantly serious and said, I know. I had a talk with Andrea last night. I didn't realize what a terrible father I'd been until I met. You reminded me of what having a good time means. And I felt guilty that I wasn't sharing that with her. Honestly, I don't know what's going on in this video, but that is the end of the video. So basically, this girl was getting bullied and then she like didn't have any family or money. And then like this old man basically abducted her and like treated her like a princess and like Loki fell in love with her. I'm telling you guys, like I genuinely thought that they were going to kiss halfway through the video and then he like adopted her. Do you want to know something guys? I've lost brain cells watching this video. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're pressed big red subscribe button and yes, I'll see you all in the next video.